They teach you the most any Christ perverted shit you ever heard in your life. You must confess the Ten Commands whether you're in it or out of them. Those commands will stand eternal as they were because they're true. Read the scripture. They say there's no law. Christ is the law of God. God's law, not Mosaic law. God's law is truth. Psalm 119.42. Check and see. So then Christ is not... So if the truth is not the law, because his law is truth, if truth is not the law, well, then there's no Christ, because Christ is the truth, the way, the life. See, they're liars. And they say, don't obey the commands of God. Those are gone. Which one of them are gone, homie? Which one? Is it the one where you teach, steal the kids in covenant? Uh, in coveting, adultery, swearing falsely in God's name, making idol gods, turning God into three, cut the roots, and then teach the kid to disobey mother and father so they lose the land like they are? Well, if all that Ten Commands gone, then why is that promise still there from Paul, who you say said the law is gone? No, Paul was speaking on the laws of men, you see. Because that's exactly what these liars do. They say, don't obey the commands of God or the one law of God, truth. No, you could be a lying fool. Oh, but you better obey the, the laws of men. You better take those children from those parents. You better take that drug. Well, yeah, you're still going to die. So what? They die like cockroaches like you and me. But while you live, you're going to do what they say because they're greater than your God. And that's their whole freaking religion. They do witchcraft. They're idolaters. Every person telling you that the Ten Commands are no good, they're a liar. Any person in adultery telling you they're Christian, they're a liar. They can be covered by Christ if they confess that they're an adultery. This is fine. This has been said repeatedly by the apostles. As long as you confess. But the Ten Commands you must do in order to be Christian. You see, because it's a suffering, faithful religion. You could go be a mechanic. You could go be a, 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 a witch doctor or whatever the fuck you want to be. But if you want to be Christian, you're going to be faithful suffering. Or you're going to get the fuck out of our religion. You're going to drop your name. I don't know how we fell asleep. I don't really care. I only care that my son gets the true faith. And the true faith is to be Christ-like. You must be suffering, faithful, covering your bride no matter what. Obeying the Ten Commands of God to the best of your ability and always holding to the one law of God, truth, because you can't play God being Satan and serve God or idols or men. So repent or eat your children for your greed.